Live from Sci High, it's Toy Talk with Chris Pombano. I'm your host, Chris Pombano. Let's meet our three finalists for our 2021 Seminole County Teacher of the Year. Straight out of Castleberry Elementary, the home of the pandas, our elementary school Teacher of the Year, Kate Bauman. Kate, tell us why you became a teacher. So education was kind of always in my in my roots. I always drawn to those jobs where I got to be a, a teacher of some sort, either it was from my little sister or um, all the way up to when I started working. I actually met my husband as a camp counselor at 16. Aww. Fun fact, my, my kindergarten class, my first class ever came to my wedding. Aww. Our high school teacher of the year from the home of the Lions, Oviedo High School, please help me welcome Will Furiosi. Now, Will, you can also relate to that education love that Kate was talking about. Tell us why you became a teacher. Uh, yeah, so actually, my wife and I, she was in arts and was going to do grants, and then I was going to do science and medicine, and then we both ended up graduating and kind of think, what are we going to do next? And we both settled on teaching and actually both started at Oviedo High School together. But it's really funny that you mentioned your, your kids going to your wedding because when we got married a couple years later, I invited all of our students <laughs> to come join us as well, so. Next up, our middle school teacher of the year from Rock Lake Middle School, the home of the Raiders, Sherry Hyde. Sherry, tell us a little bit about yourself. My mom and my dad, who were both teachers, but in addition to that, I just love to um, teach my dolls and my stuffed animals <laughs> and the dogs, so everyone you know, participated in my classroom. Aww. I think that was sort of laid the foundation, and then ultimately coming into Seminole County um, about 20 years ago, I don't, don't say that, <laughs> um, a couple years ago, um, you know, I, once I started volunteering in the schools and then um, subbing, um, I kind of liked it. Sherry, what's an interesting fact about you that most people don't know? I actually ran a nonprofit um, that sued um, a major tobacco company and we wow. won. Um, so we had a, um, due to marketing in the African American community um, to uh, African American youth and we actually did a major ad campaign afterwards. But some of the ads that are still running now with Truth, we actually worked yeah. with them on to actually help produce. So we helped to fund some of that. So that's kind of cool. Kate, how about you? What's an interesting fact most people don't know about you? My dad taught me when I was little to juggle. So I actually can juggle. Sometimes I'll do it in the classroom when they're do getting we have too loud. Juggling balls. I do it sometimes when my kids are too loud and I'll just start juggling and they'll just start watching them go and it calms them down like okay so we're getting back to math and so it's my hidden talent now. Very cool. Will how about you? What's an interesting fact most people don't know about Will? Uh, I have a silver medal from a college national championship runner-up for Ultimate Frisbee. Fancy. We're on, hey, sorry, fancy. actually, yeah. I, I brought it right here. Oh. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> we were we were on ESPN and um, it was it was a great run and it was really sad that we we lost. We kind of peaked a game too early, so. <laughs> All right, in just a few minutes, one of you is about to be announced the 2021 Seminole County Teacher of the Year, and your life and career will be forever changed as you impact teachers and students throughout our district and our state. Kate, what would being named the Seminole County Teacher of the Year mean to you? Uh, Seminole County has given me so many opportunities to really perfect my craft and to find what I love the most out of teaching. I have interacted with so many amazing colleagues, so many amazing friends and administrators through projects I've done or working with them at the same schools that giving back to that same community would be everything for me. And I would love to give back to Seminole County because they've put so much effort into me. Cherry, what would it mean to be named the 2021 Seminole County Teacher of the Year? First of all, this has been an incredible experience. Um, never imagined it um, in even all the years of, of you know the different things that I've done. Um, for me, it, it, again, it would be like what Kate is talking about in terms of giving back um, to the teaching community um, as well as um, back to the school system and the, and the community as, as, as a whole. Hey, Will, what about you? I would not be here without how helpful my department was, how helpful my school was, how helpful my district was, and how supportive they were all the way through. And it's something that we don't really get to see or hear as a message anymore. And I, I, I that's what it means to me, is to be able to share how exciting teaching can be. All right, it's time for the lightning round. Here we go. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and you have to answer on your boards with have or have not. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go. First question, have you ever pulled an all-nighter preparing for a lesson? 
have not. Always, the high school teachers always go to sleep early. In elementary and middle. Yeah, we get up the earliest. <laughs> there we go. Okay, he, that's an excuse. That's an excuse. Okay, there we go. <laughs> have you ever bribed your class before an important observation? Does extra recess count? Extra recess counts. <laughs> extra recess counts. <laughs> All right, this will tr show your true colors. Have you ever gotten a detention when you were in school? Ooh, we got a bad crew up here. Okay, there we go. What for, Kate? I was three, and I remember having- A detention at the age of three? I had to stand on the wall because I was playing during circle time, and I will never forget it. Kate, that's called time out. That's not detention, that's time Everybody out. Everybody went to recess, and I stood there, and I said, I will never have this happen again. She's in therapy for it still, okay. Sherry, how about you? I was the talker of the classroom. Oh, I can see that. I won't say exactly how we were punished at that point in time, because that was eons ago, but- it was painful. <laughs> all right, Will, what about you? What did you do to get yourself a detention? We weren't allowed to have our phones out at all. I lost my wallet, and I went to my teacher, let her know, and I was late as I was looking for it, and she's like, you gotta go get a pass in order to go um, back to class. So I go, I set my phone down on the um, discipline secretary's desk, and I'm getting my pass back to class, and it vibrates, and she's like, here's your pass back to class, and there's your detention for your phone. Oh, <laughs> and it was a text saying, I have your wallet. Oh, from a kid in my class. Oh, <laughs> like, oh gosh. Any of the three of you would be an amazing representative of our district. You've each won already, and I cannot wait to find out who will be the 2021 Seminole County Teacher of the Year. You're all winners in my heart and our hearts. Let's hear it for our three finalists one more time, and we'll be right back.